Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm actually spending most of the day actually dealing with emails and communicating with people on the social networks. A little bit of a different day for me today. I just fancy relaxing a little bit, kicking back and communicating with some people. And so many of you are tweeting me. It's really very good. I, I absolutely thoroughly enjoy it. I'm actually responding to at the tech guy at the moment uh, who says, hey, hope you're well, mate. And I'm just going to send a quick response. I am good. Hope you are well too. It's just nice. I really do love Twitter lately. It's um, not that I've ever disliked it. And I like just chatting and communicating and sharing links and sharing geeky deals, sharing my videos, obviously. It's just really great fun. It's a great way of passing the time of day as well. Ah! This always seems to happen. Now, I'm not just singling out DHL on this one. They just happen to be the company that were delivering to me today and I missed the delivery. It could be DPD, it could be CityLink, it could be Amtrak, it could be UPS, it could be Royal Mail, it could be Parcel Force, anyone. Uh, it just seems that whenever I'm gonna pop out to run an errand or go to an appointment, I always miss a parcel. <laughs> Now, I do get a lot of deliveries, admittedly, but it seems like um, they must sort of wait and watch for me to go out and then rush down to deliver the parcel and poke the car through the door and then run up the path. I'm only, I'm only joking, but I've got to now rearrange that delivery. I think it's a review product, which I was waiting on for yesterday, and it arrived a day after the anticipated delivery date. In fact, let me know if that ever happens to you. Do you always feel like, because the moment you go out, a delivery actually happens and you miss the delivery? Let me know in the comment section below. Milo, are you ignoring me? I can see your eyes flicking up every now and again and you don't want to look up. There we go, hello. Are you having a sleep? Oh, don't look so sad. I'm actually addicted to these things. I love mango as a flavour for some reason. I love the dried mango that comes in the packs and then these smoothie uh, sort of ice lollies, mango ice lollies are really nice. It's really just nice to kick back and have a relaxing day every now and again. I've been working really hard throughout this week, mainly so that I had the videos for the weekend ready for you because I've got this big reveal coming up on Sunday at 11am. And my day, this is what you've got to realise, is that even though sometimes it looks like I have an easy day, my, my day from Monday through to Thursday, this week for example, I was up every day at roughly about 6am. And then by 7am I'm on the computer, by 8am I'm ready to do a school run but I've done my first edit for the day as well. And to do that every day and then continue throughout the day either recording or dealing with emails, or dealing with business arrangements, or dealing with commercial clients. It really is a long, long day. I end up working sometimes up to about sort of 16, 18 hours a day. Absolutely love it, wouldn't change it of course, uh, but it's nice just to sit back and communicate with you guys and girls sometimes because that's what I enjoy doing. I enjoy communicating. That's why I'm on YouTube and all of the social networks. And some people, this, this is quite strange actually, Strange in a good way, but some people say to me, Dave, I can't believe you respond to comments on YouTube still when you're such a busy person and such a big YouTuber. And the same on Twitter, they can't believe they get a response on Twitter. Well, my answer to that is that one, I'm not a big YouTuber. In the whole equation of things, I'm a tiny blip sort of in the, the YouTube universe. There are many channels and content creators with 5, 10, 15, 20, 100 times a uh, bigger subscriber base than me. But that makes no difference. What, what I'm trying to get at here is my community that I make videos for, that's you, if you ask me something that's genuine, be it on Twitter or in a comment, then I'm going to do my utmost to actually reply because I think it deserves a reply. That's how I'd want to be treated, so that's why I still do it. And I just thoroughly enjoy it. I've got lots more messages come through now. So I'm going to get back to actually responding to some tweets 
and finishing off this mango ice lolly. It is now early evening and I actually managed to get quite a lot done apart from all of my communications with you guys and girls and lots and lots of emails to go through. I thought to myself I really need to wash the car. Since I've changed cars from the Mini to the BMW, I hadn't washed it. Now with the older car, with what we would call our family car and the car that my wife drives day to day, that's a little bit older, that's coming up for 12 years old. And we run that through the car wash. But because the other car is newer, I didn't want to run it through the car wash. I was sort of in two minds, shall I, shan't I? And I thought, well, it's a nice day, so I'll wash it myself. Now it did drive with some water stains on, which I had to then polish off, but it looked really good. Glad I did it. Saved myself a tenner as well. And uh, yeah, it's just good to have a, a nice clean looking car again. I'm not sure whether the next time I will run it through the car wash, I probably will stay away from, from the car wash with this car for probably a year or so. I don't know, I just had sort of bad experience with scratches appearing before when I've used a car wash. I think they pick up sort of bits of grit, you know, and dirt, and you know, if that sort of comes against the car body when it's being washed, that is gonna put a scratch on the car. So I tend to prefer to wash my own car from time to time anyway, at least until it's a bit older. And then when it's got a few scratches on it anyway, I suppose you become a bit more relaxed as to how you treat it. Um, but yeah, that is my day. It's been a good day, eventful, but a more relaxing day because I wasn't full on recording all day. So it's made a nice change. I hope you've all had a good day too. And actually by the time you're watching this, because this video goes up on the channel Saturday afternoon, you'll be part way through your weekend. So I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend as well. In fact, let me know in the comment section below what you're getting up to this weekend. If you're watching the World Cup as well, let me know if you're enjoying that. Thanks very much for watching, hit that like button. And if you hit the like button, don't forget to let me know why you're liking the video. And also, of course, you can hit the dislike button if you so wish. And if you do that, give me some feedback too and let me know why you're disliking the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, there are two places you can find the subscribe button. On the main channel page, it's just up here in the top right hand corner. If you're on a video watch page, then you'll find it just underneath the video you've been watching. Click on the subscribe button and that means that you are now subscribed to the Geekanoids channel. But there is one more step you must take. Click on the little cog icon next to the subscribed button, put a tick in the send me updates box and click save. Job done. Thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you next time.